Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are discuss about how to set up a custom domain, first party domain and you can also say server side tracking by using of strip.io to bypass the ITPS and iOS 14 update and as well as permission to the third party keys. So if you do not our previous video which is part one here we are discuss about how to third party cookies works for the digital marketing platform if you do not watch this video i recommend that you firstly watch this video then come back to this video before starting server side tracking we have to understand that how to our website browser and server work we already know that when we go to any website by typing our targeted domain the browser will show the website content where are stored the content the web server are stored all of content which you are request to the server how can you request the server from the browser you are request the web server then web server are provided the all of data which are you want by clicking the domain but in the first video we have discussed the problem is already safari browser are blocked the third party cookies as well as at the end of the 2024 google chrome browser also blocked the third party cookies they are do not accept the third party cookies for their google chrome browser for this reason we are thinking about the server side tracking why you need the server side tracking because for the server side tracking process we are set up a first party domain in our rented server that server you can rent from the step.io and also google cloud server here we are rent a server and set up the first party domain to accept the all of the your user request what is the request when you user come to your website they are go to any is that is BYT movement they are also interested to a buy a product then they are clicking the add to cart and also if they are buying a product that they are clicking the purchase button that are all the user request the main thing is the content are stored in your web server for the only the user request we are set up a first party domain by using of the your rented server which is step.io and google cloud server after that receiving all requests then we can send the our user activities or we are get allowed to the permissions to get the our user activities and send to our social media platform that is conversion api system and as well as the google analytics for and the data warehouse we can send the all of the requests to our social media marketing platform and for that reason we are retarget the audience and as well as we can possess any kind of our user data then let's get to the practical sessions how to create a first party domain and as well as the server side tracking so for that we are go to google tag manager that is our facebook browser site container now we are creating the server site container click the plus sign here we put the container name that is facebook server and here also you can select the server and create here we can see the two option one is automatically provisions tagging server which are used for the google cloud platform second one is the manual provision tracking server if you click the radio button here you can see the link which are you have to put your the rented server how to set up the rented server In this case we are using the step.io to set up the for our first party domain tracking so that is the step.io platform by using this step.io you can create a custom domain or as well as the first party domain so we are creating the new container create container here we putting the container name i am putting my name and what is the container configuration previously we have created here we putting the container configuration that is we find out from our gtm server container and copy the code 
and paste into the container configuration section save locations according to your business location you put the location here in my case i just put the india if your business are located in, in canada then you can put the canada and according to your business location you can select the server location so create container here you can see the subscriptions plan of step.io according to your business size you can select the plan in my case i am select the free plan because i am creating this for the practice purpose so i select the free plan continue with free plan and back to the sgtm container and here you can see our domain name already provided but we are set up the first party domain we are do not working this domain and we are now create a new domain for clicking the add custom domain so click the add custom domain so i am putting just web dot and after dot i am write my original domain name that is md dot com so you can click the verify options after clicking the verify option you can see the two records are looking here so you have to adding this add record in your hosting provider c panel so we are go to my hosting c panel that is my c panel and we scroll it find out the zone editor here you can add the add record so that is my domain mdfaisalamin.com click the manage and here you can click the add record click that record and here you see the name ttl type record so where you find the information then go back to the step.io and here you can see the record a record and host so copy the host and back to your c panel here you can put the name and the type the a and here you can also put the record so copy the record and paste it save record you successfully saved the a record now time to double a double a record then click the add record and back to the step.io copy the host name and back to cpanel paste the name and the type will be the double a double a click it and here we put the record so back to step.io with the value from it and back to cpanel and paste the record and also clicking the save record we are almost done we are perfectly set up the add record in our hosting c panel now back to the step.io so it takes several times maybe 10 to 15 minutes after 15 minutes i will back to again to set up the next process so now you can see the our custom domain is ready to accept the all of our user request then go to the power up section click it power ups here you can see the custom loader click it and on the custom loader and click the save changes here you can see our custom domain name now we put in our gtm id that is our gtm browser site container here you see the id click it and copy the id from it and back to step.io put the gtm id here and platform will be the others and click the generate our custom loader are generated so copy the code and back to our website dashboard and here you can see the insert header and footer sections you can also go to the plugin sections and you can install the insert header and footer plugins after installations of this plugin you can find out these options in the header section we put our gtm custom loader code paste it and also in the body sections we are copy the code from the step.io and back to our website and here in the scripting body section paste the code also click the save changes that our website is ready to accept our user request and also go to the google tag manager plugins and here you can must be off the container port because we are now our tracking process by the first party domain that now we need to your container port will be the off click it and also click the save changes so now time to set up the 
server container that is our server container and if you go to the admin sections click the container settings here we can put the url which we are created before paste our custom domain and save so we are set up our server container here you clicking the client option you can see the gfo because our all requests received the gfo so what can we do now we are go to the our browser container and set up a ga4 page view option allowing the receive the all request so that is our browser site container clicking the new tag and also click the tag configuration in google analytics sections click the full tag put the dummy ga4 tag id in the container settings at the parameter send page view and that value will be the true t r u e true i also create another parameter that will be the server container url and paste our custom container url paste it and triggering will be the all base because server container url and send page view parameters are working with our website all pages so triggering will be the all pages click the all pages name will be the ga4 page view save it so now we have to check out that our page view event is working for the server site or not then go to the server container and click the preview and also the browser site clicking the preview connect and discord it for page view event activation here you can see the our page view are working then we are now create a another event for more testing then go to our browser site here you can see the tag options and that clicking the new and also clicking the new and ga4 event here we give the id event name will be the view item event name as a view item and triggering will be the so event name will be the view item and here we putting a name event view item save it here we putting a name tag name as a server site for the view item save it and also go to the preview options then our view item event are working with our server container or not continue and the uh, is called the website and clicking the view content event and go back to our server container tag assistant look that our view item event is working for our server site int now you can go to the request and as a client you can see the ga4 already claimed and they are already receiving data from the server and also you can click in the incoming http request they are also getting the data and and you can scroll it our website are already receiving the data perfectly so thanks for watching this video we are successfully set up our custom domain as, as a name of first party domain tracking and you can also say that the server side tracking and i will see in the next video with a new topic thank you